We're on our way to the International Power Sports Show in Toronto, and uh, seeing how I was swinging by, I need a new air filter, so I thought I'd stop it. See our friends here at Bay Marine. Check out this lineup, boys. Holy moly. We're going to see uh, a lot of this action today, a little later on in the afternoon. But uh, yeah, I thought I'd pop in for a quick visit here. Um, I wanted to get an air filter, and we'll see who's around right now. this skew over here in the corner yeah buddy for all you Canadian folks out there look at that redesigned swamp series oh they're upgraded they got rid of the mesh here a lot of stuff would get through it skag and stuff they put a magnet in the flap nice that's gonna that's gonna do much better obviously we still have the inside pocket of course those look right on cool yeah, buddy. Sweet. There's a belt with it, of course. I don't have that on there right now. It's probably one of the pockets, but uh, yeah, man, those look great. Super lightweight, breathable, boys. I seriously recommend these, these waders. And look at the bog hoodies. Kick ass. Oh, I love this color. Oh, that's killer. Maybe I should have gotten that. Yeah, one more. Gator Waders also came out with the new Black and Gray Swamp series, which is pretty cool. My buddy Steve just ordered up a set. They look awesome. These retros are awesome too, in a camouflage color. 285, that's not bad at all. Yeah, it's gonna cut down on the shipping. It's gonna cut down on those uh, off duties. Okay. I gotta get a hold of the boys. What do I gotta do to get one of those? That's kick ass. Oh, we got a few cool colors for the box. Look at that gray one, sick too. Nice orange accents. That's beauty. That is beauty. Yeah, very nice. Highly recommend these guys. High quality. Great product. All right, lads, we arrived at the International Toronto uh, Snowmobile ATV and Power Sports Show. Check this out. Sweet, eh? And already I recognize that van right there from the Cat Shack in Peterborough. Those boys hooked me up with the fan on the King Quad. That was quite some time ago. Some of you might have seen that. Yeah, let's go inside and check her out, hey. Right on, boys. Thank you. Once you go in, how do you? Give a hand snap at the exit. Okay, perfect, thanks, buddy. All right, boys and girls, we gotta find Trevor. I have no idea where he is, but we're meeting Dirty Life here. That's who invited us down, so. Holy apparel. Jumpers. We'll get back to these when we get sorted here and uh, take a look around. It looks like there's going to be a hell of a lot of shit to see, which is right on. All right, see you boys in a bit. It's going to be loud in here, boys, so I don't know how much you're actually going to hear me, but we'll do our best. Check out this bad boy. It's the first time I've got a close-up look at the XX. And man, oh man, the videos don't do it justice. These trailing arms are beefy. So are the axles by the jumpins. Look at those monsters. Yeah, this is a pretty cool unit right here. I'd love to get out and try one. Nice. I should like that. That's a real nice latching system right there. Pretty sweet. XX1000 Textron taking over, eh boys? Some good changes. Just can't get over how beefy these axles are though. My lord, tie rods too. Heim joints. Yeah, man, this thing is built for battle. She's heavy, but she's uh, damn near unbreakable by the look of her. So yeah, we'll keep moving, boys. All right, boys, we stopped by the ski doo booth and uh, BRP, and we've got ourselves a 2019 XMR Maverick, and uh, we got the representative the gentleman here. What's your name? Dave. Dave Job. Job. Nice to meet you, feller. Maybe you could take us over this unit. Yep. Tell us a uh, couple of the changes that you guys have made. Actually, the changes of the XMR. Very minimal, eh? Yeah, very minimal because yep. it's the XMR. The, it's already got the liquid snorkel cooled engine. It's got the intake air, your, your intake up in here, the, the Fox Podium 2 shocks. It, it, this, this unit is 72 inch wide, so this is the big. Yeah. The big. The, the boss. boss. Did the they boss. use uh, dual rate springs before, or is? Because I noticed you got the sex separate set of springs, right? right. So you got your top and bottom. Top or, and bottom. Yeah. Did they run those before in 2018? They they ran the did they run the dual springs? Oh, oh yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, they yeah, did, yeah, eh? Yeah. Yeah. Like I said, between the 18 yeah. and 19. Yeah. Uh, Are we filming? Are you filming? Yeah, we're just doing YouTube. 
Or do you, yeah, get in there. Um, no worries, bud. No worries. Um, other, other than, uh, other than, like I said, color-wise, they it's too new to really do anything else to it. Yeah. Like, uh, you can't make it wider. Uh, what about changes to the four-wheel drive system? Were there any? Because uh, we got now a smart locker. Is this right? The smart locker on all all the. Um, 172 horse. They added the smart lock. The only smart lock last year was on the XRS, okay, which is the same size as this. But uh, they added all the smart lock to the from the XDS right up to the uh, XRS. That's awesome. Well, she's a sharp looking unit without a doubt. How many horsepower are we looking at on these? 172. 172. Eh? 172. Wow. This is this is the turbocharged model. Yeah. 900 yep. turbo. Um, are they gonna amp it up? They're always going to amp it up, every this, year. This started out at 154, right? Six months later, went to 172. Yeah, they're a beautiful looking unit. I've got a few buddies that are uh, rocking them on the trails with us, and uh, they amaze me, man. The now, performance is un unbelievable. Like, are you rocking the trail, or are they rocking their own trail? You're making their own. We do a little bit of both. We, we do the extreme. We are the XMR audience. We are the consumers. We put these things right through the swamp. Oh, that's, what, that's, what, yeah. that's what you want to be doing. If, this thing, if you're not cleaning this, you're not right. That's it. That's it. Well, right on. I really appreciate awesome. you taking the time. Right on. Wow, that is wild. Kind of reminds me of the one there that Wade was showing us all built up his brother-in-law's. This thing is crazy. Let's go around and take another look. Hey! Hey, strangers! What's going on? Good to see you. How are you? <laughs> the CF Moto booth here. This was a special project that they set into, so this is not an offered model yet? Is that, is that I what? think so. It's definitely been used. Somebody's done the work on it. Sharp looking machine. You know about this unit, do you? Yes, I do. Well, maybe you want to take us around and through it a little bit. Is this uh, something of a special build that you guys are looking to hopefully offer in the future? I think I've seen something on this yes. bike. So this is our 800, as you see, that gray one. Okay. So it's stock. Yeah. Um, what it is, it's our mud edition that we've created. So the difference, the only two differences that you see here compared to our stock unit yeah. is, of course, the additional mud tires. The assassinators. Yeah, and the relocation. Okay. What are we running for suspension? Sorry? We're running, We're running for suspension. Yep. Stock Alka, Alka shocks. Stock shocks that you'd get on a regular 800. Well, that's pretty impressive. So my nothing's friend. changed. That's pretty impressive. I think I've seen one of your side by side units too. So does this actually have the CV Tech? Yeah. Transmission, yeah. Yeah. CV Tech transmission, Bosch Electronics, Delphi CPU, um, everything because CF Moto is. Also a builder of ATVs, they're a builder of bikes. Yep. And also a builder of marine too, they do in uh, overseas. So everything's all marine grade, electronics. Well, it's super impressive how far you guys have come in such a short period of time from the first models oh, I've yeah. seen. Um, no, I agree, I agree. Yeah, so that one that you see there. Yeah. That's want, a Z-Force, yeah, right? that's a Z-Force. So this is our SS edition. Okay. I'm buy you what exactly they get that different from the stock. You get stage three Alka shocks. Yep, that's what I'm running on my bike. Yep. In the rears, you have stage four Alkas. Nice. And then also, too, what we added, we got the performance uh, performance airflow uh, free muffler, sport muffler. That's awesome. That we added onto it. That's so awesome. Stocks taken off. And a big difference in sound and power when you come out of it. It's, it's impressive. That's great value in a unit, man. Those are a lot of things that guys oh, yeah. initially right away rip off the bikes, rip off the units, and replace. You yeah. know, suspension, exhaust. That's a great step, man. When it comes out from the dealer, you buy it like that, and you get you pick it up, it's yep. exactly like this. The yep. roof, bar, shield. Yeah. That's phenomenal. Plus buying one. This is what this I'm is buying. the unit, eh? Yeah. That's it. Right on. Where are you gonna find and it says one thousand, like a one thousand, so yep. you see with all these for under twenty. Oh that's great man. Yeah. Serious value. Yeah. It's, it's unbelievable. Really bringing up your game. That's awesome man. Awesome. I appreciate you taking the time man. Right on. Yeah, cool. Cool. Right. Yeah, what I do notice right away is it doesn't feel as comfortable. You don't feel as planted as you do in the can-ams. I don't know 
know if the seat goes back much, but I feel like I, uh, a little tight. Five eleven. So you're five eight five nine. This is the machine for you. <laughs> Maximum Motorsports, the dealer here. Actually, that's not too bad, Trevor. I kind of like that. Nice, eh? All in the center. Very easy to see. Comes with a roof. The Elkis is for a windshield. Impressive. Yeah, that is. That is, yeah. Check that out. DTV Shredder All Season All Terrain. That is hilarious. If you ever like to see one of them in action, here we go. Check this out. That is crazy. That's nuts. Shot this. See it in action. Isn't that wild? Ha! That's pretty crazy if you like skateboarding through the through the snow. That is wild. That's crazy. What's the price tag on one of these units, boys? $5,400. $5,400, eh? That's pretty cool. So all the steering is through the deck. Yeah? So you lean the deck. You're kidding. Jump up under. Yeah, I'll check that out here. That's weird. Holy. That is crazy. Look at that, boys. That's how you steer it. That is intense. Top speed? 25 miles an hour. That's plenty fast on that thing. The handle pulls down for like storage and shipping. One gallon fuel tank, right? That's crazy cool, man. That is a very cool innovation, man. Awesome. Yes! <laughs> there you go! Ready to rock! Just bring on some snow! That's crazy cool. Right on, guys. Alright, we'll move on. 2019 Turbo Razor S. And uh, right away, blown away by the ground clearance. What do they got on? 32s, Trevor? Yeah, 32 by 10s, ITPs, Coyotes, wow. That's what the boys on the side-by-side -side blog are running. That's nuts. Look at that. I love the LEDs that they started doing here. That That's a really nice look. Actually, the whole front end is just an amazing new design. That's one sharp looking razor right there, boys. Yeah. Matter of Maverick, I don't know boys, but someday I think four point racing harnesses. Yeah, it feels pretty good. Dynamic, yes, dynamic suspension system. It's pretty sick. It's pretty sick, boys. I've watched all the boys that got invited out to test drive them out in Las Vegas. That was pretty cool. Yeah, it is. Amazing working unit right out of the box, really. Everything's beefed. Just beefed right up, yeah. Wow. Yeah, I could rock one of these units. How's it feel, boys? One of these? <laughs> right on. Yeah, Dad, we need this. You know what it needs? What it's missing? A dual RJWC sound system. Cody, get your shit together, man. Replace that thing with an RJWC. Oh, the Axis, eh? Oh, is that the name of their suspension system? Is that what it is? This is the chassis. It's the chassis. Yeah. So they, you ride when you sit on it, it's more like sitting on a four wheel. You get that upright position. Yeah. And it centers your weight. So you could really, you could shift weight on them, but just by shifting back, it's the two. The Polaris Assault. I really like the wrap they got going yeah. on. That is cool. We might have to take up sledding here soon, boys. Jeez. 
It's the ATV color scheme. Yeah, we really like that. Hey, Dirty Life ATV, it's our, it's our colors, man. That's nice. Look at that. Kick-ass graphics, man. Kick-ass graphics. Storage compartment. Oh, yeah. Like the little double flap for protection. Can't give you guys a shot with one hand, though. Jump up there and show us how the suspension works. I'm in my pressure field, right? Yeah, that's exactly it. <laughs> no better time for it. Hey, that's it. <laughs> Just banging moguls. That's awesome. Polaris Ranger 1000 XP for the ice fisherman and you. Hey, isn't that wild? That'll keep you from freezing your ass off. That's awesome. Hogger out a few holes, back on up. Get a little space heater and uh, you're good to go. But just being out of the elements alone, this is just the wind that makes you freeze. You're always dressed for it. But that is pretty really cool. Not an ice no? You don't know what you're missing. Catch a buzz every time I go. <laughs> oh, I really like the trim package. Ranch edition. Trim package on this is very nice. Very nice. Love the tan seats. Pretty basic, eh? Work machines are. Wicked setup. Drag you some wood out of the bush. Uh huh. Four seater turbo R. Yeah, that's great. Killer, sure, eh? Check out the rigid lights on the back of the mirrors. That's really nice. That is badass. Wow. Check out the roof of the salt now. Got her all rhino lines. Oh, we seen, I've seen this online. Yeah, somewhere. That's awesome, buddy. A lot of work put into that thing, man. Hell of a job. by the Yamaha booth and uh, you know I had to stop and take a look at this and we got Jeff with us here today and he's gonna kind of give us a little uh, overview of what's been done to the Grizz, what's changed and uh, what's in store for 2019. This is a sharp looking yeah. unit man. Thanks for the opportunity again here at the Toronto International Power Sports and ATV show. And nice to meet you Joe, a pretty cool channel so make sure you subscribe to the videos. Uh, subscribe to the channel yeah right on thanks Jeff. we're here with uh, the 2019 grizzly special edition um, one of the major major highlights of, the, of this grizzly is the 27 inch tires so we've got some nice mud tires right from the factory perfect getting out in the muskeg of ontario or northern ontario wherever you're riding yeah that's uh, right. we've changed the instrument cluster so you're going to notice that right away um should have got a key so i could have told that lit up um Yamaha's gone back to the 686, the renowned 686 offering that ultimate durability that you expect from a Yamaha ATV. I mean, this thing is gonna go forever. Again, right from the factory now this year, you've got a mud-ready Grizzly uh, to take out on your adventures. So big step from Yamaha. And uh, yeah, of course, this blue color has been a major hit. Super sharp, yeah, super, super sharp. sharp. Look at how it, it reflects. It's almost got purpley blue off the lights and just gorgeous really beautiful it's a really nice unit and yeah yamaha has always been synonymous with with reliability and you boys know the tires work great i used to run these on the king quad the 450. standard uh two inch hitch receiver so you can put your uh tiger tail on there for getting towed out uh, out backwards that's nice that comes standard on the bike yeah. that's a bonus right there you got plastic uh, a-arm guards we've got aluminum ones as well and you can upgrade to full aluminum skip plates all the way through that's awesome uh, so the rear is it a uh, wet brake system in the rear still yeah 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 i love that i love that system yeah. it's good for life basically boys Automatic transmission, so uh, known as being one of the best transmissions, uh, CVT systems in the industry. Yep. Yep. 
LED headlights in the front. Oh, of nice. You got your pod light as well. Yeah, people love that pod light. I remember when the King Quads got rid of that. That was a huge complaint, but uh, Yamaha's still rocking it. People are still loving it. The front end of this thing is beautiful. Just beautiful. Yeah, definitely for if you're going in the mud, going in the bush, one of the upgrades I recommend, it's not on this bike, but get the brush guard. It covers the lights, covers all here. Yep. That way when you got to push down a tree or nudge your buddy, you yeah, can just, and just give him a push. Yep. Added protection right there, man. Well, it's a really sharp unit, Jeff. I'm glad you took the time to uh, yeah. to go through it with so us. I don't know if you noticed, but on the front, on the stage here, we also have the Grizzly LE, which was just released a few weeks ago. It comes with the fairing, pre-installed winch, heated seat, and hand warmers. So if you're doing some winter riding, uh, maybe going ice fishing, we've got a model for that too. That's beautiful. We'll stop over and we'll check that out as well. <laughs> now that you talked about it, boys, we got to go take a look at it. Let's go. Look at that. 700 Kodiak Special Edition. Beautiful. YXE. Everybody wants them. Super sharp units, boys. Look at that. These kids are loving it. <laughs> and this is the unit you're talking about right here. Yeah. So the fairing is standard. Heated seat. Hand warmer. Heated seat. Heated seat. Oh, yeah. I wonder if they make them for Can-Am. <laughs> you got the tires and rims as well. All standard right from the factory, green salt winch, ready to go. She's beauty. Perfect for the cold weather. And not in blue, in black. Awesome. Awesome. Actually, it's got the ATV colors, boys. Got the black and the red. Really nice looking machine. Also comes with the Maxisillas. Yep. You got the wides on there too. What are we, 10, 10 wides, front and back? Yeah. Yeah. Front and back. Yeah, so you can rotate level. them out when you yep. wear them, boys, and you don't have to buy yourself a new set of rears. That's great. That's excellent. Jeff, I really uh, appreciate yeah, it. Thanks appreciate for taking the time, man. Look forward to seeing the video. Right on. Stay tuned, boys. Well, I walked by it, but I had to come back, boys. I just, you know, couldn't help it. I've checked out basically all the side-by-sides in this place. We'll go back around. We'll check some more out, too, with the camera running. But uh, what I've been checking out mainly is the latching system and the doors. Like, see, and this one has nothing on the outside. That, I find, a, a bit of a downfall in design. So they got the latch on the inside. I don't know, I know it's a small thing, but the quality of the door and how it feels and shuts, like this is, it's not very uh, smooth. And even then when you shut it, you can see that jiggle, not a fan. Well, I gotta say, I like the seated position for sure. Yeah. Not too bad. I think I would have brought, if they could have brought that back just right about here, I think it would be a little better. Feels good. Yeah, right on. Nice unit for sure, boys. Door quality, eh, less than, less than optimal, that's for sure. There's a lot of hoopla and hype going on somewhere down there, and I gotta go see what it is.
right, so we're sitting on a CF Moto 400, and uh, I just noticed a couple things. I didn't realize that CV Tech comes in all their machines, which is pretty phenomenal, really. And I thought this was pretty cool. I was like, wow, why do you got two 12 volts for? But no, they don't. Look at that, USB ports. Now that's really thinking, boys. You charge your cameras up and everything right on the go out the bush. That's pretty cool, man. That's good innovation. I love seeing it. Love seeing it. But yeah, right on. Is it a Gates carbon fiber? Yes. Well, there you go. And you boys can get your Gates carbon fiber belt right there at DirtyLife.ca too. Kick-ass products. Well, we couldn't hardly walk by her. We're going to have to do a little walk around of the King Quad, the new uh, 2019 750 AXI. You guys know I'm a firm believer in the quality here. I know they've changed and revamped their frame a few times, and I hope that it holds up for the guys that are out there buying the new units, because uh, everything else in this bike has just been awesome, reliable, and they've upgraded so much of it, which blows me away, because they were all the great qualities of the Suzuki right out of the gate. The redesigned Ascent on them. Very cool, little storage box there. This is something I've always felt that Suzuki has one of the nicest uh, or, uh, factory exhausts. It is super nice, man. Suzuki written right in it. All stainless. Really nice. Really nice. Little hitch receiver. I don't know if this is a special edition. It comes with that or not, but uh, I really dig this finish. It is super nice. And the King Quads have always been very, very plushy. A very soft, comfortable ride. And they handle well, man. They have one of, they boast one of the lowest center of gravities of uh, all the manufacturers. The only thing, you know, I'm not a big fan that they did away with the pull cord, but they did. And they finally come around and they've cut this out. So now you can check your oil with ease. Another nice uh, upgrade. A lot of good changes on the unit. The only thing they haven't changed is the power plant. And there you go. Look at that's one of the shiftest smooth, smoothest shifting C CVT shift gates right there. Man, that works nice. But. Uh, Fit and finish quality all the way around. This King Quad is a really nice machine. I firmly believe it. If you're entry level, you're looking for a good ride with uh, low to little maintenance, this is the machine for you. I don't have to change anything under the old uh, seatage. Same intake, nothing's changed there. Tidied up the, uh, the innards a little bit more. Tool pouch, nice battery, same location. Airbox access there. The finish is just awesome though, man. Nice little unit. I think they bumped up to 20, no, they're still running 25. This has got to change. However, I feel like they have a special edition or something somewhere around here. I think over here is this black one. Oh, no worries. This one here maybe has 26 or are they still 25 inches over here? Still 25, so 25 is all the way around. This one's pretty cool, the blacked out, murdered out version. But uh, yeah. Lots of look at the 2019 Suzuki King Quad. It's a really sharp looking unit, without a doubt. Right on, boys. Talk to you in a bit. Over at the Honda booth, boys, and there's a new 2019 uh, Honda Foreman. It's a Rubicon, my bad. Honda Rubicon. This is the flagship, the one, the one to have, right? Gas cap area, that's a little different, eh, when the old Hondas. But uh, this is a sharp looking bike. You got your gunmetal gray. You got all the nice red accents. She's adjustable suspension. It's a really sharp unit, man. If I was gonna buy a Honda, this would be the one. Nice instrument cluster. Quality, uh, quality buttons and instruments. <laughs> Gotta love their old diff lock, man. I like the key position here. Much prefer it up there and out of the way than rather out in the side or even the Can-Am's having it there. The main position, old school. Some things don't need to be changed. That's one of them in my opinion. But yeah, super nice unit. Honda's come with the old high, low, right? Run through your gears. Plushy suspension, very comfortable unit for sure. And they, uh, very stiff on the old shift gate, but stiff's, stiff's good. She's very clean. Comfortable unit for sure, boys, and a uh, great entry-level machine. They work awesome with the gear reduction. What do we got here? 
Oh yeah, that's kind of cool. Gonna have a pretty decent seal on it. I like that. Storage is good. Everybody likes storage. Man, the Shiver plushie. Kind of like the King Quad. Bet you she rides like a Cadillac, eh? What's under the seat? Big old air box. Man, these things are easy to snorkel, eh? One snorkel is all she's going to take. That's a huge added bonus on these things, in my opinion. More rear storage. It just comes on down. You got your rear headlight in there as well, eh? Toolkit. Very cool. And your battery. Hey, oh yeah, they stick it right back there. Well, how do you get her out? Just wonder if this whole insert doesn't come right out. There's your air gauge and uh, what, spare fuse blocks or something like that. But yeah, nice ride. Two thousand eighteen Mud Pro Seven Hundred, boys. There's a unit we didn't get around to yet, eh? Max Azillas, what, 28s or 27s? 28s, 28 by 9 by 14s and a set of 11s. Yeah, 28 11 by 14s. I like that with the black finish on the can, that's nice. All gusseted up on the frame here, a little extra rigidity, that's nice too. So they're going out of their way to stiffen her up and make her take those impacts a little better, eh? Actually, you know what? I quite like the brims. They're an ITP combo, yeah. Nice bead locks. Very nice. So that's one thing I've always really liked about Articat. The bumpers, man. They build them beefy. They build them to take an impact, eh, boys? Oh, we got any rear storage? What's going on here? Battery tender, eh? No rear storage in the Mud Pro. Interesting. Fuel tanks back here, mandatory hitch, obviously. That's cool. Uh, Non-adjustable? I don't know. Mm, it don't like like their adjustable suspension. She's fixed. But yeah. Dextra on off-road, boys. Rebranding. Doing a hell of a job, too. Really love the XX unit. Pretty sharp-looking unit, though, all in all. 700 x tear, eh? A little compartment up here. Oh, that's handy. Keep your phone and everything close, up high, out of the drink. Yeah, right on. Pretty decent fit and finish. I like the cluster. I've always loved the snorkels. They look great on there. Really nice bike. It's got that matte finish, eh, on the inside and then shiny on the out. That's a little different. You don't see that. And then it's all shiny up front. That's odd. I wonder why they did that. If it's a little rougher, the texture where your boots are going to be hitting, your legs are always dragging. I don't know. Pretty cool unit, though. All right, boys, for you Kawasaki fans, we got the big one, the Big Brute 4750. Talking to the boys, really no changes on the 2019 unit. She's all pretty much the same. Um, yes, you know, don't fix it if it isn't broke type of deal, right? So, some storage. Ooh, that's stiff. There we go. So you got your little compartment there. Perfect little sleeve for maps, stuff like that. Much easier to put back on. Optional storage here. No, I don't think so. That's probably your airbox cover here. But uh, yeah, all styling pretty much the same. They still got their lever action diff lock. Um, some guys are a big fan of it. I'm not so much myself, you know. Parking brake is nice though. You always like that. And they did include both levers too, which is always a nice option in my opinion. You gotta have both levers, a front and rear brakes. So that way the whole system's not locked up together. I like to be able to control my descent on the hills by locking up the back and dragging her, right? So, way she goes, way she goes. You got her shined up pretty good. Check out that. I've never really looked at the CVT box on one of these, but this is quite the little system. I would not want to change the belt. Jumpins. What the heck? Is this like all speed sensor stuff or something? I have no idea. You Cowie boys are gonna have to comment, let me know. But this looks like a pita. A pain in the ass to rip the belt box apart. So, I don't know. Although I don't hear too much about the Cowies exploding them or, or having too many issues leaking for water or anything like that. Um, yeah, I don't know. Tiny little U-joints for a 750 twin. 
These things got great low end grunt. They really like to wheelie out of the hole. Great bike. It's funny we don't see more of them in the mud build category. Like uh, not a lot of guys out there running them. There are a few and uh, they work great. They work great for sure. Lots of low end grunt, like I said. Well, that's your 2019 Kawasaki Brute Force right there, boys, 750. Pretty cool unit, really. And it does look sharp. Without a doubt. There's cool. some that do. And then right beside it is a 2019 Tyrex 4 LE. Actually pretty sharp. I think this one's one of their more prouder flagship type, type uh, vehicles, eh? Door check. I'm not very impressed. Very thin, very cheap feeling. Cup holders in the rear for the passengers. That's an A plus, a little storage. And that's also a bonus as well. For sure, having a little uh, nine volt or 12 volt outlet there. Box space, not too bad. It was a TFL off-road that said they should have a drop tailgate. I agree, 110%. Guy does good reviews. At least by my standards anyways. Yeah, I think they did a really good job with, uh, look at this one's got some beefy axles. Now those are some axles, boys. They look like they'll take some punishment, for sure. Check out the girth on these. That's a fair, fair size axle, for sure. Very four seater. Pretty cool unit. Not too much to show, really. Got your center console display in the center big old cowie symbol there and that's a little odd sort of it seems like out of place I don't know what's supposed to go there but it seems like something should go in place of it grab handle yeah pretty cool decent sized glove box yeah roof pretty nice looking unit for sure Pretty much ready to rock and roll. Yeah. I think the only drawback I can see on the machine is it's a longer frame. But nevertheless, the work they're putting into it. So I guess apparently CF Moto makes marine shit. Yeah. Along with another company they own too. I can't remember what I said. So everything is actually marine made. Everything. Electronics, all that shit. Right? Yeah, yeah. Waterproof. Should be. Should be, you know. What? No kidding. That's a hell of a spot to put it. I actually like that because you're getting your weight right back on the back tires like that. Uh, it's pretty wild to see the fill hole under there. Hidden light reminds me of the old, old muscle tires, eh? Behind the plate. light for your plate those are weird uh, weird shocks they're not reservoir eh? and they've got a two inch spring spacer in there though. so she's got a bit of lift yeah you ain't kidding they are are they the same length on both sides? No, shorter, Phil. Sure of it. Sure of it, shorter. So maybe staggering the diff a touch? Yeah, maybe not. I mean. Yeah, they definitely like maybe, maybe shorter a little bit, eh? So they went CV Tech. So she's already clutched and good to go. This is kind of neat. Couple cup holders too, eh? Yeah, they're putting her to it, eh? Oh, this wind's really steep. Yeah. Why is that? That's good. That's good. You want to be good in the woods? Oh, no, 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 no. Eights all the way around. Yeah. I'm not gonna say we're the same one. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I changed the tire combo for sure. I even get rid of those rims and go with the beat lock. I really dislike the way that the rims stick out. 
Holy moly! That's a full two inch? Or maybe even a two and a half? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's a pretty cool unit. 